K. Simone, and I am back with another celebrity interview. Today, joining me is the black woman entrepreneur, <laughs> the publisher and founder of Sheen Magazine, Miss Kimberly Chapman. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Yes. Yes. Because we talked a little bit um, prior to, you know, having our face to face. Mm -hmm. And I know we're getting ready for the Kimmy Award. So we're yes. going to talk about that shortly. But let's go ahead and just talk about the overall Okay. Being a businesswoman, because I know that when I first asked you, talked to you, I said, you know, how did you know you wanted to be a businesswoman? And you said at the age of 12, that's something that you wanted to do. You just mm -hmm. didn't know exactly mm -hmm. when or what you exactly. wanted to do. Right. Mm -hmm. So when, when was that shift for you that said, OK, it's time to start working on something because you had your hair care line or you was into hair care. I still am. You still are? That is the brand <laughs> winner. <laughs> That's the multi-million dollar company. Right. Yeah, Sheen Magazine owes me money. <laughs> <laughs> So you had you have the hair care line, then you went on and said, you know, I love I love music, mm -hmm. I love fashion, and once again you love hair. Mm -hmm. And you took those entities and orchestrated Sheen magazine. Mm -hmm. What was the shift that made you say, This is it, this is what I want to do, and this this is the time to become that businesswoman I know I'm ready to be? In my head, even as a young girl, I was a businesswoman. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, because you know I did I worked as a model for uh uh, Belks when I was a teenager mm. um, just a lot of little things I was a babysitter so I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur be in my own business right and um, it just has kind of like fallen into my hands so to speak I've worked at it worked at it worked at but the beauty industry is so fulfilling because you get to be able to um, help people feel good about themselves right. when you fix their hair give them a shampoo that they you know gives them exactly what they want the softness the straightness the the less frizziness mm. so you know beauty to me is everything for a person because it just helps with that self-esteem exactly. so <clears throat> Being in the in the hair care business offers that um, f to me to be able to help people. And then the, the magazine business is like, everybody has a story. So, hey, <laughs> let's put it in the magazine, you know. And, right. And they like the gossip and they like the um, the celebrities. So, She Magazine just fits right into everything. And with, with you saying that, you know. You know how when you get your hair done and then you you see and everybody has the story. One thing that I really admire about Sheen Magazine is that it promotes self-love. Yes. It promotes the self-esteem. So when you were coming up with Sheen Magazine, how was that for you? They say, you know what, it's very important that we center in on that self-love, building that self-esteem for whoever reads the magazine. You know, as an a, a, a human, as a spirit, as a black woman, as a mother, as a, a daughter, as a, a wife, um, women evolve continuously, continuously. And as I evolve, I'm able to help my businesses evolve. Right. So, you know, there is a problem with everybody. Nobody is without an issue. And so when you can teach people self-love, it changes you and it changes the world. So, you know, if they just Michael Jackson says, if you want to make a change, look at the man in the mirror, exactly. look at the woman in the mirror. And so that to me is the truth. It's the truth. You have to love yourself. And when you love yourself, you can love others. You can um, be apologetic. You can accept people's faults, you know, not you know where it's going to completely hurt you but you you kind of give people chances because right. you understand okay i have love for myself so maybe this person needs some help and let me help them and you look at a different perspective yes. in the situation instead of just making it oh well i'm targeted i'm mm -hmm. a attacked or you exactly. you make you look at it another way and it, it makes you look at it because you have that self love and that mm -hmm. self esteem in you you looking at somebody else well maybe you know right maybe something just not right today mm -hmm. with you maybe exactly. this person is just off and that, that's a beautiful way to look at mm -hmm. it because when you change your perspective you change the narrative exactly you know <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about she Magazine because it's it started in 2006, right? And it has grown tremendously, yes. right? And of course, with the growth, 
there has also been growth inside of technology with digital pre- presence and how that is very important as well as social media. Mm-hmm. So how has that been going from just having a print magazine to now having to focus on your digital print, your social media pages, your website? Like it sounds like a lot. So how has that that transition been for you? It's been good because, you know, people like looking at their, their social media, but people like going to the restroom and, and reading, too. Exactly. <laughs> so, That's a good way to look at that. Exactly. So, you know, either way, we win. We right. win with the hard copy and we win with the social media because you can also um, purchase online. Mm-hmm. and have your, your um, copy of Sheen Magazine online and read it. Right. Yes. So let me ask you this, because you can purchase it online, and mm-hmm. then as we were talking before, you know, the camera's cut on. You know, I told you this is probably the first magazine that's going into my new home that's going to be on my um, coffee table now, because mm-hmm. I'm used to having a bunch of magazines, but I just don't, you know, magazines aren't what they used to be right. anymore. Well, you know, that's because you have people out there that will produce your magazine. Mm-hmm. You just send them information and they put it together, have no feeling, no spirit, nothing whatsoever. You just send in information and they just putting it together. But She Magazine is spirited with all the people that are in my office. Like, they have passion about the articles and how it's looking and how, you know, they just, it's like a baby. Right. And everybody wants to take care of the baby mm-hmm. as opposed to somebody just taking care, just putting it together because, oh, I'm getting paid so X amount of dollars. So here, and here you go, just read the proof. Exactly. When yeah. you love what you do, Thank it's a you. different it's a different product always mm-hmm. it's yes. a different outcome when you love what you do right you exactly. know what i mean so and you got to put that love in it because people can feel it no mm-hmm. matter what people can feel regardless of it with it being just a piece of paper so to speak mm-hmm. people can feel the passion that's inside this magazine i agree mm-hmm. i agree <laughs> so let's do this because you have your hair can line which is chapman products mm-hmm. you have your chapman foundation you have Sheen Magazine, but then you have the Kimmy Awards, right? Yes. So how did that idea actually come about? Because after you name all the things that you have going on, it was like somewhere along the lines, you were like, you know what? No, I need to sprinkle a little bit more black girl magic on something. So I'm going <laughs> to insert this Kimmy Award. So what was that process like for you? And what was the idea behind the Kimmy Award? The Kimmy Awards is to give recognition to people and just to have a good time, get to know people, mm-hmm. network, and just recognize people and honor people for a weekend. Give people that ability to just let their hair down and just have a good time. Indeed. And, yes. And so this year it's going to be so, you don't have to wear a suit and tie, a tux, and a, a long flowing gown. I want you to come in there and be fashionable. Like, you know, just be who you are and this is me and this is what I got on the night and I came here to just enjoy the Kimmy Awards. Indeed. Yes. And, yes. and this, we plan for it to be a legacy and something that will be on TV eventually in the years to come and everybody will always want to go to the Kimmy Awards. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, what was the idea behind the Kimmy Awards though? How did you come up with that, that idea? To give back to the people in mm. the beauty industry, the hair industry, the nail industry, just everything that encompasses beauty. We wanted to recognize those people that are trailblazers. And, you know, Vito, the singer, he right. would be honored. Um, we have, uh, of course, Megan Good, she would be honored. Absolutely. Right. So it, you'll be there. <laughs> Exactly, I will be there. Uh, yes. Yeah, for the spa day. So we just it's it's the idea is just to celebrate one another and give patron you know, patronize people and, and honor people and just, Indeed. you know, enjoy and realize and let people realize uh, that they are not an island. Exactly. We're all connected and we we all need to realize that. I love it. I love I love what it stands for. I love what Sheen Magazine stands Thank for. You. So of course, you know, it's only right that we had this conversation because everything that it represents is the positivity, the mm-hmm. love, the networking amongst ourselves, you know, right. our, our black people, mm-hmm. you know, that beautiful, black, beautiful, beautiful <laughs> blackness, that melanin is shines, yeah. you know? <laughs> so I would say this, um, number one, cause you touched on two different things. Um, and let's talk about the expanding of Kimmy awards. You know, this is this five years now mm-hmm. for you. This is five years of the Kimmy awards. And it seems like each year 
it just expands. Mm-hmm. So from my understanding, the spa day this year is something new yes, that so you're adding to the Kimmy mm-hmm. Award event weekend. Right. It's so new and we wonder, we we expecting great things go, to go on, and this will be something that we'll do for years to come. But you pamper yourself. You get your hair done. You get your nails done. Ooh. We got like <laughs> fifty, I believe. 50 um, vendors that will be there mm. that you can talk to about certain things according to what you need as far as for yourself exactly. and your hair and your nails and your skin. We got <laughs> mimosas. We got food. So it's just a day of pampering. Indeed. Mm-hmm. I love it. I'm so looking forward to it. I know you have the fashion show as well. No, this year oh, we're not doing the fashion show. Really? No, we're going to be doing the fashion show in Columbia, South Carolina. So we'll okay. let you know about that. Yeah, Please let a, me yes, know. Yes, absolutely. So Please. yeah, no fashion show this year. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we got you know, the stunt party Friday night, which is going to be nice. Yes. And then the spa day. And then, the, of course, we have, um, oh, my God, we got so much filled up in one day. Yeah. Um, and I think we got an after party, too, after the, after after the, the show. Work. Yes. So, <laughs> and we got a pre-show, pre-show, too, before <laughs> <the> show. <laughs> So I know Saturday is going to be busy. Yes, May gonna 4th busy. is going to be super busy. Mm-hmm. And I just cannot wait. Uh, me and Moni Sutton will be hosting I know. the day I was spa. with her yesterday. She's amazing. She's yeah. She's amazing. Uh-huh. And then for the actual awards, you ha- we have our very own um, Head Crack and yes. Ke- uh, comedian actors and Kiana Dancy. They're exactly. going to be hosting that main event. Uh-huh. So with the main event, we're honoring, like you said, um, Megan Good. You have your honorees that you mm-hmm. choose. And I know this year we're honoring Megan Good and Mona Scott. Young, how do you go about picking your honorees? That's a team effort. So, okay. Yeah. Sometimes they listen to me. Sometimes they don't. Okay. Yeah. They'll have their own meetings, and then I'll come in and I'll make a suggestion, and they all like, we already made the decision, Miss Chapman. <laughs> <laughs> So sometimes I get to uh, put plug something in, and sometimes I don't. But um, it depends on the theme of the the um, book or okay. the magazine at that particular month. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So okay. They usually have their themes prepared six months in advance. That's good. And so this year, the Kimmy Awards will be at the Sheraton. And you can get all your information at SheenMagazine.com. So the Sheraton at Cortland. At okay. Downtown. Mm-hmm. Okay. We will be there. Okay. I will be there. So hopefully y'all will be there too, okay? And um, lastly for you, you have your your businesses, as I Mm -hmm. stated, you know, your hair care line, the magazine, the foundation, Kimmy Awards. But the most important hat that you wear overall is being a wife and a mother. So how does that how do you find a balance of the two you know because looking at you and watching you you know i i admire you because you are showing us black women and women in general that you can do it all you can have it all you can have it all i just do it you just do it you don't think about it you just know that you have responsibilities you made a choice to be a a a wife so you know what your husband likes and doesn't like, what right. he'll accept and what he won't accept, and also what I'll accept and won't won't accept. Right. And so those are the things that you do. He has never really required me to cook. So, you know, either he would cook, I would cook. Like you, is what's more important in a marriage is the commitment between the two. Right. That's it. It doesn't matter what anybody else has to say or what the, the social society has to say. It's a commitment between the two of you. As a mother, you know that you have due diligence for those kids. You brought them in the world. So it is your responsibility that they are taken care of. So it's just at those particular times when they're growing up and you're in it, you just do it. You don't think about it. You just do it. Especially when you're walking in purpose. Everything yes. just seems so easy. Yes. You know, it, it's not easy, but it just seems like it, it's a flow. Right. When you're walking in purpose. So mm-hmm. I definitely understand that. Yes. And you then know. you don't want to listen to this mind. You okay. want to listen to this mind. Your gut. Your gut. Your gut always tells you. And when you go against the gut, that's when you suffer. Mm. <laughs> so I try to listen to my gut more and more. Yeah, definitely. But I definitely want to thank you so much, Miss Chapman, for sitting and talking with me today. And anyone who wants to follow you, wants to learn more about Sheen Magazine and the Kimmy Awards, tell them where they can go to find well, you. Go to uh, SheenMagazine.com and you can get any information you want to mm. about the Kimmy Awards and Sheen Magazine. If you want to follow me for my Instagram, you go to Kim M. Chapman. And for Facebook, you go to Kimberly M. Chapman. So make sure 
sure you uh, follow me and make sure you go to SheenMagazine.com and make sure you come to the Kimmy Awards. It's going to be a great time. Absolutely. Thank you so much Thank again, Miss Kimberly. It's been a pleasure speaking yes. with you. You too. Thank, Thank you. you. I love watching your eyes. You got great powers in your eyes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in.